Oh, yeah, the move on Mike. He had 37 in the Can I just say something to the world? Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. I know that Allen Iverson is not the prom king. I know everybody don't like him. I know his history has been, you know, well documented. But we're talking basketball. Y'all need to go back and look at the highlights. That was a poor representation of the highlights. No disrespect to anybody, but I'm a fan of the man. And one story I have. We have a practice. He's going hard as I don't know what. The media's been on him, kind of all this, and he's just mad. He's quiet. He's not saying nothing. I'm like, oh, yeah, I feel something coming. We go to Milwaukee. It was the best game I've ever seen by a teammate in my life. He gave them 60-something, passing the ball, doing his thing. Was he a difficult player to play with? He only knows how to score. He only knows how to go hard. But I've never in my life, never, played with a player that played as hard as him on the court. Maybe Bobby Jackson, Doug Christie, other guys that played as hard. And so it's a lot of guys I know played this hard, but I've never been with somebody played as hard as, as him. And so when I see him going through all this, you know, I just, I just hope that at the end of the day, because all we're talking about is basketball. He's, he's not President Obama. And all we're talking about is boop. And if you look at him and what he did, man, and you name me another guy with the heart he had every night. He used to wear hockey pads. You know, the pads that go, you guys probably want them too. The pads that go all the way around you. I used to see him after games, bruised, banged up. And his only thing was, yo, Web, I got to go hard. You know, if they watch me, this is the first night. This might be the first time anybody's ever come see me play. It's just an honor to watch that guy play, man. I'm proud to say I played with him. Justin Kimbrell said on that night he had 54. Against 54. The Fox. Well, I lied. I, took, I put oh, no. six on it. I put six <laughs> I on it. it. My bad. I My bad. It. I My get bad. It. I, I just, I think for a guy his size, he was the most intimidating player in the NBA. I mean, you think about a guy six foot, 160 pounds, he was intimidating because physically he had a level of speed that nobody had ever seen. You know about the killer crossover, but to, to see Webb's point, the athleticism and then the relentless attack mode that he was in. Because that was the thing that made him so tough. Because some guys you would play against, and Rick, you know, they're like, they're going to take 16, 18 shots a game. You know, you're going to have an opportunity to defend them. Iverson go out there and take 35, 40 shots. He was in attack mode the entire game. And that just put a tremendous amount of pressure on five guys defensively. It wasn't just a point guard. Fearless. I just never seen anybody like him. He's just fearless. That's what I respect most about him. He brought it night in and night out. You talk about guys that had an attack mode like Jordan and Kobe. That, that they're always compared. He's on par with them in terms of his aggressive attack to, to, uh, to the game. Uh, you know, you saw him tear up a little bit when he was talking about this year. This year, this was the NBA Finals, 2001. Ah, <laughs> 2001. <laughs> but you know, he, he went out and single-handedly carried them to that first game win in that series, and we, we fortunately came back and won that. But, but you know, when I think of AI and I think going forward, first team, you know, Hall of Famer ballot guy, and you know, we're here debating aggressively about where he ranks all time among shooting guards. Uh oh, go game. get it, Rick! Oh, 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 look at that. Okay. Rick, what's your standard on? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, you're up there, right? Up there. Up there. Yeah, but in, in all cases, he, like you say, AI would keep coming. He'd get the best of you somewhere down the road. Uh, but he, he ranks up there, man. You know, Chris, you're saying top five uh, guards. Uh, he definitely, for pound for pound. He reminds me of Charles that. Barkley. But, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good comparison. That's what he reminds me of. Position-wise. Top five, maybe a two guards, point guards, depending where you yeah, put them, right. and if you move Pippen to the three of them. Yeah, yeah, you saw <laughs> as well. We'll finish the argument. I got him in the top ten for sure. I reminded Rick, 48 in game one of yeah. the one finals against the Lakers. Only playoff loss that the Lakers had that year. Yeah, I wasn't. we were all trying to guard him that night. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. His uh, number three should be retired by Philadelphia oh, 76ers. Oh, yeah. I saw him throw a football about 50 yards, too. He could have played Tremendous high school football easily. player. Yeah, yeah. He just Virginia, can't play a legendary can't as well. play Tunk or he can't play uh, Spades. That's all. <laughs> <laughs>